so grateful to be here, by the way. Thank you guys for giving me this time. This is like, I was telling Mark, this is the first time in years I've been able to work on anything without just being annoyed by stuff. <laughs> so I'm, in, I'm sitting in that little resident house and uh, and I wake up and there, there's there's poetry to happen and, and it's been happening and I'm working on some translations and I'm working just a lot of a lot of stuff that has sort of been making me anxious because I know I needed to do it and haven't been doing it and now I'm really calm. <laughs> I trust you'll be charmed to know that I wrote this in a department meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so Psalm 3, it is a psalm of Isaac whispered mid the Philistines. <laughs> Master, both invisible and notoriously slow to act. <laughs> Should you incline to fix your generous attentions for the moment to the narrow scene of this, our appointed tedium? <laughs> Should you, once our kindly secretary has duly noted which of us is feigning presence and which excused, <laughs> which unexcused, you may be entertained to hear how much we find to say about so little. <laughs> Among these other mediocrities, your mediocre servant gets a glimpse of how his slow and meager worships might appear, from where you endlessly attend our journey. Holy One, forgive, forgo, and if you will, fend off from this my heart the sense that I am drowning here. <laughs> Amid the motions, the discussions, the several questions endlessly recast. Our paper ballots. <laughs> I wrote this on my way to uh, Wichita, Kansas, which was sad enough, admittedly. <laughs> but um, there's a stretch of road there up at, uh, from like, Kansas City to Wichita, I think it's I-35. And, these big billboards. You've seen these sort of billboards that are out here, I'm pretty sure. I presume so. Um, but, you know, billboards like, and, and it, the fact of the matter was there were like 80 of them along maybe 100 miles. It was like every mile, it seemed like there was one of these billboards put by the same people. Billboards like, uh, Jesus loves you, believe it or burn in hell forever. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, and then so when I finally got to my to my destination, which was a really great bookstore, Eight Day Books in New South Kansas, uh, a little ways away from the beauty, I was I just sat down and started drinking Warren Farmhouse coffee and working on this. It's called the Spiteful Jesus. <laughs> The spiteful Jesus. <laughs> Not the one whose courtesy and kiss unsought are nonetheless bestowed. Instead, the largely more familiar blasphemy born to us in the little boat that first cracked rock at Plymouth. Petty, plainly man-inflected demigod established as a club with which our paving generations might be beaten to a bland consistency. He is angry, he is just, and while he may have died for us, it was not gladly. The way his prophets talked, you'd think the whole affair had left him clearly out of sorts, unspeakably indignant, more than a little needy, and quick to dish out just desserts. I saw him when, as a boy in church, I first met souls in hell. I made him for a corrupt, corrupting fiction when my own father, mortal that he was, Forgave me everything, unasked. 